Good afternoon, everybody. Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, July 21st, 2024. Now that the news has come in that Joe Biden is is not going to be seeking uh, re-election, that means starting today, he becomes a lame duck uh, president. And uh, there's some inf information here just to let everybody know, just to give you something to watch out for as to what we might be able to expect in the coming days uh, from Joe Biden and from the outgoing administration. In, in politics, a lame duck or outgoing politician is an elected official whose successor has already been elected or will be soon. An outgoing politician is often seen as having less influence with other politicians due to their limited time left in office. Conversely, a lame duck is free to make decisions that exercise the standard powers with little fear of consequence, such as issuing executive orders, pardons, or other controversial edicts. Lame duck politicians result from term limits, planned retirement, or electoral losses, and are especially noticeable where political systems build in a delay between the announcement of results and the taking of office by election winners. Even at the local level, politicians who do not seek re-election can lose credibility and influence. Uncompleted projects may fall to the wayside as their influence diminishes. There's no fear of consequence, and they can issue executive orders, pardons, other controversial edicts. And it goes on to say, since lame ducks do not face the consequences of their actions in an upcoming election, they have greater freedom to use unpopular decisions or appointments. Examples include last-minute midnight regulations. Okay. It's interesting here that uh, a couple times in this article, uh, it's, this is uh, brought out, the word midnight. That's a biblical word, a biblical understanding. The bridegroom will come at, at midnight. And so examples include last-minute midnight regulations, such as executive agencies of outgoing U.S. presidential administrations and executive orders issued by outgoing presidents. Such actions date back to the Judiciary Act of 1801, called the Midnight Judges Act, in which Federalist President John Adams and the outgoing 6th Congress amended the Judiciary Act to create more federal judge seats for Adams to appoint and the Senate to confirm before the Democratic Republican Thomas Jefferson was inaugurated and the Democratic Republican Majority 7th Congress convened. In more recent history, U.S. President Bill Clinton was widely criticized for issuing 140 pardons and other acts of executive clemency on his last day in office, including two former close colleagues, donors, fellow Democratic members, and his own half-brother. In the literal sense, the term refers to a duck which is unable to keep up with its flock, making it a target for predators. And this article goes on to say, in his farewell speech from the office of president in January 2017, Barack Obama jokingly quipped, you can tell that I'm a lame duck because nobody's following instructions when the cheering and applause from the crowd prevented him from commencing his speech. Okay, so July 21st, uh, 2024, to Monday, January 20th, 2025, an exceptionally long time of a lame duck uh, presidency. He's, he'll still be in office until January 20th, 183 days. In the Strong's uh, Greek Concordance 183, I think this is fitting to what we are watching. It means unruly, unrestrainable, untamable. It's used once in James 3.8 where it says, But the tongue no one is able to subdue. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Okay, this comes from the word 183, 182, unruly. 
Okay, will that, will that, uh, is this what we can expect from Joe Biden? An unruly, lame duck presidency that from now, no one will be able to know where to put the blame on anything that's going to be happening. Nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. No need to worry about any consequences. Just some thoughts for you to consider. Challenging times. Stay strong in your faith. Keep waiting on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are hoping for his arrival any minute now. I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.